Hey everyone, this is Locus and Mobile Centrics, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Today, we introduce to the market AQ6 and XL6, the new standard in the wireless repair industry. Last year, for aftermarket panels, there was a huge struggle to bring the prices lower and lower, which actually meant that it was actually bringing the quality lower and lower. Our vision in Mobile Centrics was completely different. We really wanted to push the industry forward rather than going backwards. We started off by creating a new brand called X04 and creating an X01 series. With X04, we, we saw a different vision. We saw that, hey, there was a lot of good material coming out of China, but there was no usage for it. There was no factories trying to pick up the raw materials in it and any of the components and filters that the industry wasn't utilizing all the new technology and the software that was being made for the aftermarket line. Within six months, we had launched the X05 line, which brought improvements on the software, response time, color saturations, and overall st structure. x 4 success really pushed us the mobile centrics to develop a full engineering department solely focused on aftermarket panels. Doing so, you can rest assured that XO technology will always be leading the industry. Today, we're excited to continue the XO technology revolution. What we really took an account from XO4 to XO5 and now to XO6 is the RMA. We've seen that, hey, what are the possibilities of a defect? We went really deep into, hey, where is the imp implications of uh, chances of an LCD ever being returned to us for any brief reason? I'd like to start off showing you that, hey, what are some of the improvements that we've done in X06. One thing that we've done is we've decided that, hey, the flex cable for the home button connector, we've decided to bring it on the outside. And as, as the cable folds forward and it makes its way all the way around from on this side, if there's a heavy crimp against this cable or the cable's being tucked or pulled from this side, it could cause a high chance of the, the home button malfunctioning due to a customer feeling like, hey, that the LCD wasn't up to par or up to standard. X06 is the first to introduce a new backlight structure where all the pressure from the backlight will now be applied to the frame. Let me explain how. So let me explain how we've decided to combat this situation. One thing we've done is we've taken the backlight and we've extended the legs all the way down up to the frame. What this will do is when there is an impact from a heavy drop, the pressure will actually, of the LCM, as it bounces, it, will, it would directly be applied to the frame. Any pressure being applied from the tech will also be implemented directly on the frame rather than the LCM panel. We should see one a lot less tech damage and a lot less after sale steel blackouts. And you can see here, these are the foundational supports that would be holding up the backlight to the frame. At the end of August, we were introduced to a new LED. These LEDs are manufactured out of Korea, K KS12. The main beauty of these LEDs is, one, they're wider, and two, they can keep the color temperature lower. So, as you'll see on X06, the colors are very vibrant very beautiful and structurally almost as close to OEM as an aftermarket can get. The CSR film, as you can see, is multi-layer. And as it cuts, you'll see that, hey, all the layers. What these layers do is actually cause much more, as it reflects the light back, it's much softer on the eyes. So ensuring that, hey, it doesn't strain the eyes with a few minutes of usage. On X05, we had introduced a double layer backlight. But on X06, we took the same technology but added a nano coating of a, of a paint onto it. So as it reflects the light back, it actually keeps it all even as color all around. The next thing I'd like to show you is, since we took out the real 3D and went to software 3D, there was an opportunity that we saw that, hey, aftermarkets do have a tendency where they do stay warmer right at the bottom because of the LED lights. So what we've done is we've added a thermal heat shield right under, underneath it. What this thermal heat shield will do is it will dissipate the heat from the LEDs and transfer it to the steel plate throughout. 
typically what you'll see in an aftermarket panel is going to be darkness around the edges and more wider in the center. That's typically due to being a single layer structure where the outside shell of the backlight is black as the white light and the LEDs reflect against the diffuser and goes around to the side, it reflects black uh, a shadow right around the edge. With having a double layer structure, you'll be able to get an even tone right around the border and it being the exact same color. So as the white color goes from the center to the edge, it'll be perfectly the same color. Now the camera can't capture the depths and the colors. But I can assure you the colors are so close together. The EXO technology has come a long way, but that doesn't mean that we've left its sister brand, AQ6, behind. We've taken everything that we knew about EXO6, but we could still bring the price lower. We've done so on AQ6. We've taken the new LED lights and installed it. We've taken the structural core panel, the software, the LCM panel, the flex cable, everything is being implemented into AQ6. The primary difference between AQ6 and XO6 will just be the backlight structure. But with XO6, I assure you, you will be impressed. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for everyone's support. Mobile Centrics is on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.